All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing number nine, palindrome number. And if you remember from our other problem, a palindrome just means it's the same back, backward and forward, like one, two, one. And I'm not even going to use my uh, VS code here because this is so easy. So I feel like, well, we'll see, right? So um, if I can, all right, so we'll see if we can just do this off the hat. So if it's negative, then we're not counting the, we're, we count the negative sign, so that's going to be false if it's negative. So if x is less than zero, uh, we'll return false. And then we just need to make sure that it's the same backwards and forward. So what we can do is we can just create a new variable and take each one of these numbers and just slowly add it to that variable. So let's just say, let's create two new variables. We'll create a y and that will be equal to x. And then we'll create a z and that will be equal to zero. And we'll just basically turn z into the reverse of y, which is x as at first. And so we'll say while y is greater than zero, because we're gonna be dividing y, y by zero, so we'll say um, z plus equals y mod 10, and then we'll say uh, y divided by equals 10, and then well, first we'll need to multiply z by 10. So, and then, so first multiply z by 10, and then we'll return. So we're gonna say, since z is the reverse of uh, x if it's a palindrome, we'll say z equal to x. We'll just make sure that it's the same. All right, so let's see. I haven't actually tried this, so I don't know if it'll work. Okay, so. I mean, not brilliant, but hey, we passed the test. And I'm going to call that done. 